Michael, Luke, huge congratulations. Mm -hmm. England off and running in the World Cup. You've had to wait a while, watch everyone else. What does it feel to be part of the tournament now? Well, it feels great. It's, ha it's hard sitting and watching everyone else and you you're entering the tournament two days later, but... You know, France, I thought, have played decent. So I, we both knew that we had a, you know, a toughish game. I thought we knew we had to play well. We didn't play our best. They probably didn't play their best. But, uh, you know, a clinicalness finishing doubles here and there and hitting a big score at the right time probably was what got us through the game. Uh, we know we're going to have a tough game tomorrow. Josh Rock, you know, we're wary of him. He's, he's playing fantastic since he won that European tour. So we know we're going to have to turn up and play better. But I feel like the type of players me and Michael are, we play better when the pressure's more harder on us or we're playing against players we know we have to play well against. So um, I think tomorrow will be a, a completely different circumstance and I feel like we'll bring out our A game. Interesting, the order you picked. What, when do you go first, Michael? No, we spoke about this. Mm. He, he told me about the bullseye, he hasn't got a good record for the last no. couple of weeks. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, you go for the bullseye, I won that, and then he went, we spoke about who's going first. Away. I, this is my fourth one now, or fifth, or whatever it is. And I've been first every single time, and it was like, like, you go first time. You'll keep it the same. You do what you're doing, and it, it, it egos, works to an e Egos go out the, you know, egos go out the way in these tournaments. We're, we're a team, and I feel like he's got the more experience. So it'd be silly for me to think I can go first and everything's going to be right. You no, know, we we made the right decision. The, the person with the most experience goes first, and and you kind of look at it, if we're playing well, and uh, you know, twelve darts have gone by, and he throws the thirteenth, he sits on tops. If we're playing well. You know, you're leaving the best top seer in the world at that moment. So if if we play well, that's what will help us. So I, I think we got it in the right order to us. You came in as the overwhelming favourites for this tournament, Michael. Obviously, you've been put on the England team for a while. Is this the best England team we've had since the glory days of Phil and Adrian? Do you feel, both feel? I think this is, uh, especially the last two years. Like he said before, I won the worlds and he's won it. There's no better player in form at the, him at the minute, and I'm starting to get back into it. I don't think he is. Like he's number one, I'm number three. I was number one last year, so I've, yeah. I've lost my ranking. But I don't think I don't think there is. I don't think there's been a better team because the way we complement each other with the scoring and the finishing, I don't think there's anyone better than me and him at the minute. Yeah. That's a partnership. A lot's been made of chemistry in the World Cup in general, of the Gezi and Johnny factor and so on and so on. Do you think that you two have spent 16 weeks in the Premier League together has helped this World Cup campaign? I remember playing him when he was fat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've, I've played him a lot more than just 16 weeks and we got on then. So it's it's been going. We, we speak a lot at the Premier League. Obviously, it's helped as well. We speak a lot at the Premier League and then when we go to well, Poland, Denmark, mm. get all the World Series. I see him more than we miss us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we chat there, you've got to get on. And it's not like just colleagues, we're actually friends. Like yeah. I've got so many colleagues in Dart and I've got so many friends. and. Uh, luckily enough, Luke falls into the category of friendship, and oh, it, <laughs> so you, you just it, it just shows on stage. Even before if you would have filmed us backstage, we was practicing on separate boards, but then we play a game together, just getting different rhythms. And then as we was walking on, it was all cuddles, good, good luck. Even on stage, it was the same. And yeah, I think you can see that chemistry then. Mm. Gentlemen, congratulations! Thank, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Okay, huge well done. You've overcome the first hurdle. You've both achieved massive things in your career, sixth major between your two world championships, but where would this rank finally bring you the World Cup, World Cup back to England after such a long absence? For me, it would rank up there in, you know, top five, hundred percent. You know, obviously the World Championships is always going to come first for both of us. That's, that's a, that's a no-brainer to be honest. I think the only, the only things that can rank in that sort of moments would be world match play wins and, um, and Premier League wins, which we both haven't got yet. But uh, it would it would rank up there in the top five. It'd probably be you know third for me. Obviously, winning my yeah. first major title was obviously such a fantastic moment. But you know, it, it's hard to rate it. But uh, it's it's something. The last it's, it's probably fun. I'll be honest. I've not had that drive. Like it's hard. Sometimes you don't have that drive. You're playing so many tournaments. It sometimes gets a little bit deflating. You're trying your best, but you don't have that drive. This tournament, I have that drive. I've been I've been looking forward to this for many many weeks, and uh, you know I really am desperate to win this. I really want to you know go on and, and do it. So for me, this is the first tournament for a long time where I feel like I'm I'm in the mood and I really really want to win. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, did, for me as well. I think this ranks third. Grand Slam number one, world second. World Cup would be third when we go on and win it. Grand Slam, obviously, I'd lost 11 major finals, finally got me first. Your first but, is always the best. Yeah, then the major. world was second, and then obviously, winning the World Cup would mean everything to me now. I've, I think I've said on multiple interviews with you and Phil and everything, it's, it's a big thing for me to win this now, and yeah, I've got the perfect partner sat next to me to do it now. 
It's the first time that we've seen you two pair up. Did you learn anything from that game that you can take into hopefully all the way to the final? Yeah, he needs to stop leaving me on double. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it in first. No, um, well, that was the plan. It didn't work out, did it? But no, I just think we learned the chemistry was well. It was good. Like, if, like you said, I said it before. If I did a bad shot, he did a bad mm. shot. Just fist pump. Just said, come on, we'll do it the next one. We'll get it in the next one. And I, I said it before, I didn't get that for the last three or four years and now I'm getting it with Luke and it does feel special to have mm. that and it feels really good to have him sat aside him as a partner and as you can see by his ranking, he's the best player in the world at the minute and yeah, how good is that to be, he's going to be a partner as well. And I agree with that, I think the environment that we showed, the way we feel, the way we get on, that sometimes you need a little bit of chemistry, you know you've had it with, with Gezi and Johnny, they're really good friends, they've always gotten really well and they've won two out of the last three or four years and sometimes you need that little bit, if you're playing with someone that you know, you don't, not necessarily don't get along with, but you don't have that chemistry. Sometimes you you don't feel as great, you don't feel like you're in the tournament as much, but we get along really well, like we said, so I feel like we, we've got a great opportunity to go on and win, but we're going to have to start playing our best, and if we do, then it's going to take a big to- performance to beat us. And next up tomorrow, it's Northern Ireland. They've just knocked out the host Germany. Do you prefer to play Northern Ireland and not having to battle that hostile, or potentially a hostile crowd? Probably, he's got yeah. the same question. I, I, for me, I don't care. No, I, I don't. I just want to go on stage. It wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me. Play. It wouldn't bother me, but of course, it's it's kind of hard when you're getting booed and whistled. It makes the, the whole opportunity and the whole task a lot harder. It makes it a lot better. But, uh, uh, but it also <laughs> makes it a lot better if you beat people that, mm-hmm. you know, beat teams that everyone don't want you to win. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, if we both play our best, then it doesn't matter who we play. But, uh, you know, anybody can beat us as well. So we, we're wary of that. But we're going to come back tomorrow. High spirits. We're gonna we're gonna perform at our best, and uh, hopefully it's enough to win tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well